Hello people, so because Super Dragon Ball Heroes is officially here with its first episode of the year, Ultra Guard Mission Episode 1, I'm going to do a live reaction to this episode because I'm intrigued by the, play, the new characters that were introduced, I haven't seen any trailers, I was intrigued when they, when they introduced Toa, one of the characters, or villains, in Big Bad Mission, but it took a while to get there. She was kind of in the background, taking a backseat to few. She and Mira actually, until they actually became main parts of the arc and actually helped out few, beat Dark King few. But now few's gone. I hope the few we get something more to them later up down the road. But here, the intrigue is with the mysterious new Supreme Kai of Time. So let's see what that is. Obviously, the episode will not be in the reaction. Obviously, due to copyright, I'm not taking any chances. Especially with the way the way anime studios have been recently. No way. We got a new opening. Okay. Oh, wow. I like already like the setting. It looks like the two Goku's gonna team up again. Oh, Piccolo's in this. Go on. To, okay. Yamcha. Hits. Okay. Jiren. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Trunks. Pan. Oh. Kumba. Freezer. Cool, okay. Androids. Bruh. Tapion. Kid Bo vs. Jinemba. Tapion vs. Trogs. Hearts and Cumber. Bruh. Broly vs. Jiren. There's a Supreme Kai tat. I dig the opening. Oh, we're at the time nest. Oh. I can no longer rely on you. Oh. Even if we've got a conflict already. I us. Okay, I like this already. The vibe. I like the set. I like the opening of this already. The what? Well, who's this? Goku with super space time ton. Whoa. Okay. Got a time. Got a tournament. Nice. It's an amazing tournament to determine the strongest fighters from all the match. Yo. Okay. Of course, Goku's in. This must be a servant for that Supreme Kai. I us right. Oh, I mean, we're cutting immediately. I like the pace of this episode already. Go on, but yo, I expected you. Vegeta, Jiren hit. Oh, wow. We're not wasting any time. I'm here for training. Oh, he's gonna cut loose. Hit. Yamcha. Oh, okay. Yo, this is already better than the granola arc. I'm sorry. The tournament begins. All of you beloved warriors from all sp space time are selected. Whoa! Okay, we've got the margin group. I just saw Deborah. Cooler. Freezer. Golden Freezer and Cooler. Hearts. Cumber. Oh my gosh. There's so much. Bruh. Got the Freezer Force. Ginyu Squad. And we've got a silhouette. Turles is back from the dead. Bojack and his crew. Tapey on. Yeah, this is... Okay. Don't hold back. It shows your power. Oh, man. I cannot wait. Now, three fairy warriors are flying around. If you catch them, you defeat them all. All the members of the teams you win. Oh, so it's a team. Okay. Time limit is 50 tax. For winning team, any prize. So then, without any further ado, let's get it on. Okay. Oh, we've got different areas. Okay, this is cool. We've got separated. So it's individual fights, but each... T okay, I get it. Jiren. Hit. Yamcha. Is this Goku versus Goku? We've got the rematch. Goku versus Goku. Oh, it's been a while. How long has it been since they teamed up? We'd like to... Oh, wow. Okay, the go two Gokus want to go all out. We have business with the host of... The Okay, so they, they, he already knows what's up. Time Patrol Goku. Whoa! They're being attacked. Is this the clone, Goku's? Okay, so we've got the rematch on postpone. Trunks. Okay, he's against TP on then, isn't he? You're from different dimensions? Oh, he doesn't recognise his Trunks. It's a different version. They're still going to fight, so that's cool. Yep, this is Time Patrol Trunks. Super Saiyan God. He used his burning attacks, so that's cool. Ios, okay. 
Looks like you're making good use of these guys you have thrown into this. Broly versus Jiren. Hit. Who's he going? Okay. Oh, Harunagon. I didn't expect this. Janemba versus B Kid Boo. Oh, man. Vegeta. Who's he squaring off with? Oh, Mecha Freezer against Yabja. He's dead. Oh, come on. Step up, Yabja. Bro, that's hilarious. At least you didn't die yet. Whoa, what's going on? The scrolls are disappearing. The episode just finished, and if you couldn't tell already, I'm kind of super hyped. I'm trying to recollect my thoughts of everything we've just seen, because there was a lot that went down in this episode. First off, the fact we got a tournament combined with multi-universes, multi-dimensions. It's like... Especially with the, some of the matchups we got, it's like Dragon Ball Zeniverse combined with the Tournament of Power and Dragon Ball Multiverse as well. That's what this feels like, but I'm hyped. You're intrigued, okay? You got a plot. The re there's a reason behind this tournament. We don't know what it is, except the time scrolls are disappearing one by one. So I'm curious what this is leading to. Also, the fact that we didn't see Toa and Mira. In a part of this plan is a good sign, although we could see them later on. My hope is this Supreme Kai of Time, which already has intrigued me a lot. Ayas has her own plan, has her own agenda. The fact that I, I like the tone this episode started off with, with immediately a split, a drift between the two. We don't know what happened with the Supreme Kai of Time, Kronoa. So my guess is... She either got captured or something else. That's why I turned Time Patrol here to find out. And the fact we got the clone army. The fact that Piccolo and Gohan are involved in this arc is not a coincidence at all. I think it's more to do with the fact that they're the main players in the Dragon Ball Super superhero movie. So they decided to incorporate them, which I have no problem with as long as they get the shine. Either with Yarpja. He did die in this episode, so that's an accomplishment, if nothing else. I said it in the reaction, I'll say it now. I am more intrigued by one episode of Ultra Guard Mission than I've been through the entirety of the Granola arc. Those are just my thoughts, you may feel differently, but my god. The moment, the fact this is a tournament, which is what suits, they know how to throw tournaments, regardless of whether you agree with everything that they do. They know how to throw tournaments. The fact you got, so you do have so many players, but... Because it's in combat form, it's not that much of a deal. We know who the players are that are involved. I'm kind of hoping we get to see other get to see other players that we didn't get to see. If you look, reacted to the episode, I, I initially spotted one silhouette. But if you look behind Raccoon, you see one silhouette. But if you look behind Berta, you can clearly see another silhouette. And they're both wearing armor, similar to the Ginyu Falls. They could be random fodder. But the fact that if that's the case, then why silhouette them? Because the Ginyu Force are not the strongest member fighters there. So they have a level of intrigue. Maybe that we'll get to see more from the Ginyu Force and who they get squared up against. They're not the only silhouettes, though. If you I had to pay close attention to the crew with Bojack, like that's cool. They added the whole crew. You have Zangia, Koju. And if you look behind Koju and Bojack, by the way, Koju is the guy that trunks punched through the stomach in Bojack and Bound. But if you look behind them both, it looks like there's silhouettes behind them. That could just be their outfits or the shape shadow of their outfits. But I, I don't know, what do you guys think? I'd play really close attention. Another intriguing group is the Time Patrol. Not just the fact that they're included, the fact that they also have silhouettes there. If you look to the right of Trunks, there's one character, a smaller character, a hooded character, another hooded character, much like we got the, the hooded Saiyan. And it's obviously not Pan. Pan's besides Time Patrol Vegeta. We got to see the lineups of each team's. And behind the hooded character, we see two other silhouettes. So that's really curious. I, I really want to know what's up with that. I don't think they're random fighters just because there's no reason to silhouette other characters related to the time. Time Patrol, so that could, that could be kind of cool. So a lot of silhouettes, a lot of intrigue with these fights. I thought it was, speaking of having the whole Bojack crew, I thought it was really cool how they included all the, most of the androids from the Red Ribbon Army. You have that old school 17 and 18 along with 16. 
so the posse is back together you also have android 13 along with 15 and 14 and then you besides them you have android 19 i kind of find it funny they didn't include dr jero android 20 maybe because he's the least popular android i don't know because the time patrol are going to be a main players in this arc obviously just because the hot the hunting down ios the supreme kai of time by the way when i it was, it was mentioned by chronoa that the ios is the previous supreme kai of time so she came before chronoa that's kind of interesting that's cool i wanted i wanted to learn more about that so that was kind of cool we got that but also it looks like we could get other players and the reason i say that is because universe and 11 and 6 universes participating in that don't have more teams like Jiren and Hit are running solo I'm kind of hoping Kaba, Khalifa and Kale show up to back up Hit or maybe they're already there I don't know also I'm kind of hoping Topo and other members of the Pride Troopers maybe Dispo as well show up to help out Jiren just because of why would you include other universes so hopefully Topo the Pride Troopers alongside Kale, Khalifa and Kaba get some more shine the fact that they added Yamcha is kind of cool also. It's like, I don't want to sound like a cocky son of a bitch, but back in the during the Moro arc, when I was reviewing the Moro arc, chapter 52, I that was Yamcha's return, right? I literally said it'd be a crime if they didn't have Yamcha use the Wolf Fang Fist or at least include him. I'm not saying the people behind Super Dragon Ball Heroes are watching my reviews. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, we we get to see some of the matchups already. We know Broly versus Jiren is a lock. We know Hit and Haruda gone, which is a surprise. That's a lock also. Yamcha versus Mecha Freezer, although he technically is running away, but you also have that pairing. Kid Buu versus Jin Ember. Look closely, DBS Vegeta, Gohan, and Piccolo. We do not see who they're going up against. They could be going up against. Vegeta could be going up against Vegeta for all we know, Time Patrol Vegeta. But we don't get to see who Gohan and Piccolo are going up against. Obviously they have the lineups of each teams, but we, so I'm wondering if Pan's also participating in this tournament. That'd be kind of cool to see him get some spot shine as well, which kind of makes me wonder if other characters are going to get added like from Universe 6 or 11. But let, let me know what you guys think that Square Off actually gets some shine as well, because we saw uh, there's a lot of characters I, I mentioned before. I mentioned Toa and Mira. We actually got the ma Margin crew. We had, we had like Yamo and Spopovich for some reason. We also had Debora and Pui Pui. We also had some intriguing matchups like Janemba versus Kid Buu. I want to see more of that. Broly versus Jiren. What? And the thing about it is, my fear was some of these characters would actually be manipulated, which they kind of are to a certain extent. I like Jiren's excuse, like why why he accepted this tournament. Is because he want, he's using it for training. And if you notice, like, Broly hasn't gone Super Saiyan 4. So that match is going to get super crazy, super fast. Depending on how much it focuses on. But considering it's a tournament, I'm not that worried. Yeah, as of now, I'm hooked. I, I want to see where this goes. So many subplots taking place right now. Obviously, the biggest one to me is, like, the setting up a potential rematch between Goku versus Goku. He got kind of got, he got kind of interrupted with the clone army, I'm guessing going up against them but we but they wouldn't have set that up if it wasn't going to happen so i think either that one of them's going to get controlled or they're going to be forced to fight and like time patrol goku said it's not going to be a cop out so I, i'm all hyped for that definitely a better introduction to this arc than we got with the big bad mission arc even though we got, did get goku versus beerus it wasn't uh, i think it was kind of mundane and it only lasted an episode. It looked like this could last a while. And you got the subplot in the, in the background. A lot of intrigue. Hit versus Harudagon. No th thought of Harudagon. But I guess it makes sense with Tapion involved. Tapion versus Trunks is interesting. but that And considering the fact that this is Time Patrol Trunks now. I can't wait to see where this goes. Let me know what you guys think down below. That's going to do it for the guys. Thank you so much for watching. Like this video if you did. Hit the thumbs up. I appreciate that. Subscribe to for more Dragon Ball. Catch you guys later. Thanks, guys. Bye.